I saw an idea on Pinterest for outdoor ottomans and I thought that would be really cool to bring something like that indoors and I started to design them according to different uh, like the like the hippie and the princess and so I just made all of these um, really cool ottomans and they sold really well and then it grew from ottomans to uh, clocks and mirrors and tables and I'm working on some lighting and shelving so it's just kind of blown up. <laughs> well here's the great thing never ever pay for a used tire they're free in the United States uh, you you uh, have to pay to get tires hauled away so your tire shops whether they be for cars or lawnmowers motorcycles they're typically more than happy to give them to you I've never been denied a tire. Like if I go and ask, they never they never say no. It's a win-win. I just I I get so excited because um, they are just really unique, um, functional pieces of solid furniture that you can make for your home out of something that doesn't cost you anything for the tire, just your supplies and the know-how on how to how to create it. And so it's a win-win. You're saving a tire from a landfill and you're creating something just really cool and different for yourself. I make uh, tables, clocks, mirrors. I have a, like a little PlayStation. It actually rotates on a, on a bar stool. It's filled up with dinosaurs, uh, a coat, coat racks, and I'm working on some shelving and some lighting. And I'm sure there's so many more things out there. It just, it just keeps growing all the time. Oh, well, you know, it's it's crazy, um, you know. They say TikTok is for you know the young kids that are dancing, but I thought you know I'm I'm just gonna give it a try, and um, so I just started making these little clips of videos, put them on TikTok, and it just like t took off. So there's definitely a niche out there for this. There's people that are interested in doing this. I built my own website, and you can go on to the website and um, you know take an online course, and that's my real goal is to teach others how to do it because I can only make so many upcycled tires. To really make a difference, you gotta get people all over doing it and see the value in it. And TikTok has allowed me to do that. I try to use as much upcycled products in the tire uh, project itself. Like for example, um, I have a big uh, piece table that's tie-dyed and I used iron legs from a table I got off of Marketplace. Or you can go to the thrift store and find old curtains or drapery or, um, and make like the pillow tops for them. Uh, you can, when you go garage selling or yard selling or whatever, look at, don't um, look at just a piece of furniture, but think of it in pieces. Like, oh, I could use those legs for this, or I could use those hooks for this. So I think of, um, I've taken a number of legs off of like nightstands and then used them for ottomans. So yeah, I really do try to incorporate as many upcycled pieces as possible. I've been doing this for about five years now, and I really haven't seen anybody else creating what I create. And there's definitely some techniques. I've, I've learned through a lot of errors and failures and a lot of successes, but I definitely have a technique down. Um, the designs on the side are not painted on, so you don't have to be an artist. They look like they're painted on, um, but you can choose any 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 kind of fabrics. Any um, you can get custom fabric with with your own logo on it or anything. So these can all be customized, and they're just easy to make if you know what you're doing. Hopefully, I'm inspiring other people to do it. Uh, and I think through TikTok, that's that's happening. So hopefully, we can get the word out there just a, a you know a little bit more.